AgriGold, we know corn. Hello, I'm John Breen, an AgriGold agronomist, with you today out in the cornfield trying to diagnose some problems and trying to figure out what we can do to make more yield. So we walked out in this cornfield that we thought was looking pretty good, and we look down the road and we start seeing a bunch of yellowing at the bottom of the plant. We start seeing some light green color and we start wondering what's going on. Are we looking at a disease? Are we looking at a nutrient problem? Are we looking at compaction? What is it that we're looking at? So we start looking at the plant and the plant will tell us what's wrong. That's the nice thing about corn plants. They have the ability to tell us what's going on. So we start looking at the plant and we notice that the bottom leaves are brown, they're yellow, they're dying, and as we move up the corn plant, we notice the plant leaves are getting greener and greener. Well, that tells me, first of all, that we're dealing with a mobile nutrient problem. So a nutrient that moves within the plant as the plant needs more resources. If it was an immobile nutrient, we would see it at the top of the leaves first, the top leaves, and we wouldn't be seeing it progress. So that tells us it's a mobile nutrient problem. The next thing we look for on all these corn leaves is the pattern in which the nutrient deficiency is showing. If you see here on this leaf, we kind of have a V pattern where it starts at the tip and works its way to the inside in a V. That is a telltale sign of nitrogen deficiency. If this was a potassium deficiency, the yellow would be on the outside working its way in. But on nitrogen deficiency, it goes in a V pattern. So nitrogen is a mobile nutrient. It is telling us that this plant is deficient in nitrogen. So the next question becomes, how deficient and what can I do about it? Well, as long as the deficiency stays below the ear, we're not worried about it because all the nutrients above the ear are being used to produce photosynthesis and carbohydrates and sugars. Below the ear really is not doing a whole lot at this point in time. So we're out in the cornfield looking at nitrogen deficiency by looking at the symptoms and the signs. The other way that you can look and see if your yield is being affected by nitrogen de deficiency is looking at the ear. So we go back and we find a plant that's deficient, we huss that back, and we start looking at what happens. And what happens is we start to abort kernels. So these kernels here were pollinated and were trying to fill, but the corn plant didn't have enough nutrients to fill them, so they started to abort in order to make sure that the rest of the ear was getting filled. So that is another tall tale sign that nitrogen deficiency is starting to hurt our yield. So when you think about corn production and the importance of nitrogen, it's critical that you know that your program is working properly. If you have plants that are green from the bottom up late into the season, you know that your nitrogen program is working. If you find that you are deficient in quite a few areas, a broad scale area of your production acres, that tells you that maybe you need to tweak your amount of nitrogen, your form of nitrogen, or the way that you apply it in order to make sure that nitrogen is not the limiting factor in your cornfields for next year.